I'm here on the campus of uh, Kutztown University where they're having a student labor rally today against Governor Corbett's education cuts. Identify yourselves. You're uh, my name is Misty Schimmel. I'm a senior social work major. Oh, okay, and you're Patricia Lewandowski. I'm a first year uh, graduate student in social work. All right. What brings you here today? Um, just to rally against the budget cut and to get our voices heard. Um, I think it's important that all the students come together so that the governor knows that you know we're not happy with this decision. Kutztown is looking at a $24 million cut in state funding. How would that affect you and your education? Uh, well, tuition would rise. Um, a lot of the students, I know personally for me, I'm a first year, I'm a first generation college graduate from my family. So a lot of students who come here, you know, they are first generation college graduates. And I came to state school because it was affordable for me. And that could have, I mean, that could affect the other people. Where are you from? Harrisburg. Harrisburg. Where are you from? I'm from Bethlehem. And I just, Kutztown has already had a few cuts in their majors. And if, with this but they cut out the nursing case, program, didn't they? Yes. yes. Now, do you commute from Bethlehem? Yes, I do. Okay. A lot of the students here at Kutztown are commuters, are they not? And that's one of the things that makes this university affordable, correct? Yes. I'm thinking back to my days at Penn State. I commuted to come off campus my first two years. And, you know, that, that was huge as far as saving money. Um, so if, if majors and things, uh, state aid is cut to the university, do you see that affecting enrollment? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you know students who would have to drop out of college as a result? You do. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are just making meets with loans, and the increase the loans won't be enough. So. Well, now in, in Washington, also uh, the House has voted to cut Pell grants. In addition to this. So you're looking at a double whammy there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have Pell Grants? Uh, I don't. Okay. I do have loans for okay. graduate school. Um, and in addition to the loans, I, I do pay a, sh a short amount of money uh, to come here. It's not that much right now, but with the increase, I, I would really have to pay more out of pocket right now with that. That's kind of hard. <laughs> All right. One last question. Did both of you vote last November? Yes. yes. All right. <laughs> Thank I'm you. here with two Kutztown University students. They're with the student newspaper. And your name is? Guy Seacrest. And you're? Uh, Mike Davalos. Okay. Where are you folks from? I'm from Camp Hill, right outside Harrisburg. All right. I'm right from Philadelphia. Okay. Uh, what brings you here today other than covering it for the newspaper? Your students here? How are these budget cuts going to affect each of you? Well, I know, I know. Uh, if, if the increase is up, um, I will have to, yeah, I will have to take out more loans uh, as a college student. And uh, I think it's really, really important for the student body to get involved, uh, especially because we're young and uh, uh, being politically conscientious. I think is really good for a lot of students. And coming out here, I wish the turnout was a lot more than it is. Um, but again. Uh, I, I think uh, the midday afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think coming out here and getting more informed is a lot better than not knowing what you're mad about. What year are you? I'm a freshman. A freshman. So you've got you look at three more years right. in college. Yeah. And you're looking at a 33 percent tuition yep. increase. You're looking at cutback and possible cutback in Pell grants. <laughs> right. That the House of Representatives has, has also passed. Right. Um, how do you see that affecting the students as a whole on campus? Um, I believe, predict, predicting from my standpoint, uh, uh, natural selection with the students. Uh, it's going to be a lot of loans, and if you can't get the loans, you're not going to go to college, or you're looking at community. 
Uh, we're on the lower of tiers for Pennsylvania education in terms of uh, you know privates and, and states, and then there's community colleges. And I think we're right here in the middle here, and um, you know it's going to affect a lot of students definitely. All right. Uh, for myself, as a junior, uh, I have one year left, and all of my money comes from student loans, uh, which you know I know I have to pay back eventually, which I'm willing to do, but. but if I have to increase my tuition by almost three thousand dollars for a year, with only one year left, I may not. I, I'm barely scraping by now, so I work. I'm working three jobs just trying to get around just to keep a job, and I feel bad for the people like him who have three years left and have to. It's just it's going to be a terrible process, and I think if the cuts go through at fifty percent, which I don't believe they will, um, if they go through at fifty percent, uh, the population of Kutztown will decrease, and I, I very much believe that. Um, what are the interest rates on your student loans? Do you know? Interest rates? Um, if you can get a good interest rate on a FAFSA loan, I think you can get as low as 4 or 5. I'm not 100% sure. I know my loans currently, I have one loan taken out. It's a small, minute loan uh, with 7. Okay. With 7%. One of President Obama's major initiatives has been reform of the student loan yeah. process. Yeah. And he's eliminated the middlemen, the, the finance companies, and, and pretty much uh, focused it on the, on the government. Right. It's, yeah, I, I see that reflected in the interest rates you're telling me you're paying. Right. Look, I'll let you guys go and I see the rally get, right. is getting started. Thank you.